I'm using OBS for professional Zoom presentations. And when I've updated to version 28, I was expecting a few things not to work, like the StreamFX plugin or the NDI plugin. You can check out my other videos on this topic in the description below. But the one thing that I was not expecting and that I was relying quite heavily on in my OBS setup is the Downstream Keyer plugin. With the Downstream Keyer, you can create a scene and put a source in that scene, then assigning a hotkey to that scene, and by pressing the hotkey, then have the content of that specific scene superimposed to your current scene. That's very useful to bring up your overlay graphics on demand, like your lower third, text, or reactions during your Zoom presentation. I have a full tutorial on the Downstream Keyer plugin that you can check in the description below. And it's thanks to you that I've learned from the comments that the Downstream Keyer plugin is not working properly. Actually, from the plugin update page, it seems it does. And when you test it on OBS, actually, it works. The issue is that when you activate the virtual camera, then the plugin works in OBS, but the content is not displayed in Zoom. So the overlays will appear on the OBS output window, but they will not show on Zoom. Luckily, there is a workaround for that. It's not optimal, but for now, it works very well. You can do that by installing the DroidCam virtual output. DroidCam is a plugin and an app that allows you to connect your phone camera to your OBS. It has a free version for standard resolution, and then you can upgrade for higher resolutions. But we're not going to use it for its main purpose now. What we're going to install is the DroidCam virtual output. You'll find the link in the description. Download it, install it, then restart your OBS, and if you had Zoom or Teams open, then create a new meeting. Now in OBS, go to Tools, and you'll see a new DroidCam virtual output. Click on it and select Active. Zoom or Teams will now recognize the DroidCam virtual camera as a video input. So now instead of selecting the OBS virtual camera, you'll use the DroidCam one. Let's see if it works. It does. By the way, if you want to master OBS for professional Zoom presentations, you should check my masterclass course. Link is in the description below. I hope I could help you, and I would appreciate if you liked this video so more people will have the chance to watch it. Thank you. If you now want to take your Zoom presentations to the next level with OBS, check this next video here.